Jamie Triboli now, and uh, Jamie, that was a bounce back week. How good did it feel to play like you guys knew you were capable of playing? Uh, it felt very good. Um, we worked hard, hard all week, and uh, we were pretty upset after what happened. Uh, we knew that that wasn't uh, how we play lacrosse and what should have happened, so we bounced back and played with a lot of energy, and it felt good. Energy seems to be the word that everyone's using here, and you could feel that, I'd say, literally from the opening face-off, there was a bounce out there. How hard is that to, to bring it every week? Because you've got big games every week to come with that amped-up energy. Uh, it's definitely tough. Obviously, practice is hard all week, and there's class and stuff that are making you tired, but you got to realize that you're uh, playing at the Carrier Dome, and you're, this is a lot of people's dream to play here at Syracuse Division One Lacrosse. So um, keeping that in the back of their mind and then having the motivation of, of people not really believing in us, um, getting some harsh media attention and stuff like that kind of just will always drive us and spark us and we'll play with a chip on our shoulder. It seems like you guys were able, though, within the team, I guess, to avoid the lows that come with a loss like that. How were you able to do that? By just blocking stuff out, not worrying about anything on the outside and just focusing internally. Um, watched the film and just fixed everything that we needed to fix to get a win. Uh, everything we didn't do against Colgate, we cleaned up against Albany. Mm -hmm. um, and it wasn't perfect, obviously. Um, there's there still, still a lot of room for improvement, but we're working on it. So. All right, three goals in a game is a lot. Bradley uh, doubled it. What was it like uh, getting him the ball time and time again? It was amazing, amazing to watch. When you have a hot hand like that, it's, uh, it's definitely smart to feed him. And, mm -hmm. And he kind of took hot hand to a next level. So it was great to be a part of it, and I'm super happy for him. He's waited his turn a long time. Um, he made the most of it. So. And we, I talked to him about that, too, the idea of waiting your turn. It, it's not impressive to see, hey, you're a guy that started from midway through your freshman year for a guy that waited around, fought, and then finally got his starting role here as a senior. Yeah, I couldn't be more happy for him. I think everyone in the locker room is super happy for him. Um, He's just a fun-loving kid, and uh, he's has put his head down and, and done what he's needed to do for four or five years, and now he's finally getting his chance, and he's, he's doing pretty well. So. All right, quick thought on your midfield line. Brendan Curry's playing really well. You had a nice game last week. Uh, David Lipka's with you now with Tucker out. How was that group of three coming together now with, without Tucker here this season? Well, it's definitely an interesting dynamic. Without Tuck, we don't have someone to really – to, to just go crazy like Tucker does whenever we need someone to do that. So we're kind of all picking up the slack that, mm -hmm. that not having Tuck uh, leaves behind. So, but we're playing together well as a unit. Um, we're moving the ball pretty well. Um, we have pretty good, two pretty good initiators, and then Lipka's great off ball. So it's kind of a, a good fit, and we have some, developing some pretty good chemistry, and we're going to keep building on it all year long. So. And building on it here for this week with the Army. This game is always tough and hard nose, and as you'd expect when you're playing an Army team. What, what's it like to be in this game every year? Um, it's definitely pretty cool. Um, to be able to play against the U.S. military is something that's, that's pretty awesome. Coach made a choke earlier in the week that this is the only chance you have to really beat the government, so that's pretty funny. Um, but yeah, you know, it's a wellness team, and you got to respect them because of who they are. So it's a little different going into a game like this, but you got to play discipline and play smart and try to get the win. All right, Jimmy. Enjoy it this week. Thank you.